In local news, Oakdale resident Kip Kong was arrested and charged with misdemeanor aggravated harassment for including nasty messages when paying his LIPA bills. Instead of using the return envelope provided by the Long Island Power Authority, Mr. Kong would stuff the bill and a check into a plain brown envelope, include a wad of negative newspaper clippings about the company, and scrawl LIPA SUCKS on the outside of the package. Worrying about anthrax and other dangers, the mailroom at Keyspan Corps called the Hazmat Crew as well as the 8th Precinct. The bomb squad figured out that Mr. Cohn wasn't doing anything dangerous, but the police are still investigating. Cohn's lawyer says it's the post-9-11, quote, climate of terror that led Keyspan to jump the gun on the First Amendment. Kip Cohn, who runs a sporting goods and clothing store in Oakdale, told Newsday his monthly electric bills topped $300, and he has occasionally made his checks out to the name Lippa Crooks. But he also said, I might get a little loud, a little heated, but I never threaten anyone. On the plus side for Mr. Cohn, he's become something of a local celebrity, with a 90% approval rating in a recent Newsday poll. Richard Kessel, chairman of Lippa, called him to apologize and said that the mailroom overreacted. But the complainant was a Keyspan, not a Lippa employee, so Kessel's hands are kind of tied. I personally spoke to Kong on Friday, and he told me he has no regrets, and that he'll pay his bill the same way again next month. He did spend the night in jail, fingerprinted the whole bit. He said he received an order on October 8th to appear at the police station a week later. When he did, out of the computer, they pulled up a dog nuisance warrant that was 22 years old, and that's why they kept him overnight. The dog charge was dismissed. The Keyspan case gets a hearing November 22nd. He faces up to a year in prison, and I hope he he fights it all the way to the Supreme Court. Would I want to be the one in the mailroom opening his packages? No. But would I want to live in a country where you can't mail a non-obscene, non-threatening insult to a company? No again. I'm wondering, we, oh my god, we actually have Kip Cohn on the phone as a live call in. This is, by the way, not a joke or a sketch. We really have him, apparently. So please, uh, Kip, are you there? Yes, I am. Hey, thank you so much for calling in. I hope you're enjoying the, the, what little of the show you've heard so far. And what would you tell me about your mom? When we, when oh, we spoke on TBB was her uh, favorite station. Uh, say that again. I'm sorry. We, we just need to hear that several times and record it. Okay, WGBB was my mother's favorite station. Well, what do you mean was? What does she listen to now? No, she passed away. Oh. And that's still not an excuse. Okay, but <laughs> first of all, has it, have there been any developments since I spoke to you on Friday? Uh, no, not really. Okay, well, thank you so much for... No, um, just elaborate a little more. What really made you decide not just to write a letter or do this, but literally with your bill start doing this month after month after month? I'm just tired of the waste. More specifically... Uh, advertising. Oh, yeah, that's right. You made that pretty clear. What specifically about Lippa's advertising bothers you? Uh, the fact that they do any. It's not like we have another choice for electricity. Right. So, the fact that they advertise so much and spend all this money for no real reason is is what what gets to you. Yes, it is. Cool. It's It's all the rate payers that pay for it. Right. And, um, tell me a little more of what Kessel said, uh, when he called you. Uh, he was apologetic. I mean, you know, like he said, it wasn't him, and uh, you know, it wasn't him that picked up the phone and called the bomb squad, and you know, started the whole thing. Do you understand, in retrospect, why the mailroom people did what they did? I can understand their concern over over a suspicious package, but I mean, this was l- written out and uh, you know, with return address and everything else on it. And you actually didn't just pop this in a post office box, you handed it to a mail to to the post office. Yes, most of the time this is hand stamped and hand cancelled. Mm-hmm. I don't know if this particular envelope was, but I have done this before and haven't received any uh you know right. any I, sorry. threats so you know, they didn't they didn't take it as a threat any other time. Hmm. And uh remind me, have you ever done this sort of thing with bills to other companies or letters to other companies or organizations? Actually, in my house, my wife writes out all the bills, so I haven't. Uh, if I probably wrote out my home bills, yeah, I'd probably do it with cable. Uh, you know, anybody that is really not, not much of a choice to, you know? I agree. What does your wife think of the whole situation? Uh, she's, she's behind me 100%. That's great. 
That's, that's really. I mean, was she shocked about the whole jail thing? Oh yeah, we were we were anticipating just walking in with an and and picking up an appearance ticket for the uh, aggravated harassment charge, and then they dragged up this 22 year old dog nuisance. They ticket. dragged up a 22 year old. That sounds pretty good. <laughs> oh, no, I'm well, sorry. <laughs> the dog nuisance ticket that was 22 years old. Um, I thank God at this point have never been in jail. Uh, so I have to ask, what is it like? Uh, it's not fun. Okay, well, you were in General Pop. Yes. So, what, can it just take me through the night a little bit. I know, um, I know, we should be talking about how horrible Lippa is, but but no, I, I just want to hear a little about about this. Uh, it's being fingerprinted. It's being you know, mugshot and uh, everything else. You know, general population, no shoes on for the night, no coat, uh, sleeping on a wood slab. Basically, it's not comfortable and not a pleasure. Hmm. And you had never had any trouble, really, with the law before? I mean, parking tickets, maybe, or something? Or Well, I had been arrested once before on, on a different note. <laughs> oh, good heavens. I was supposed like, uh, are you going to hang up if I ask what that was? Uh, <laughs> Click. No. <laughs> All right. No, but it doesn't really matter at this point. So, and have you gotten a lot of appreciative mail and phone calls and, and visitors to your store? If you want to plug your store, that's cool, too. So. Um, well, my store is at... Uh, the original sports fans, and uh, I do sports wearing sporting goods. Mm-hmm. I'm uh, probably one of the best kept secrets around. We go a little bit deeper than the average. If you're looking for that hard to find Giants or uh, Angels shirt right now, you know we've got them in stock. Mm-hmm. And, and of course, uh, an overage of, of Mets and Yankees jerseys, but uh, yeah, which we are always carry. Right. And uh, you know, it's. Uh, but have people been coming in and saying, you know, honking their horns or? Yes, most people are behind me, 100%. Cool. And you've done a lot of radio interviews and, and stuff like that, and then you're kind of getting used to being a, a somewhat you know, a celebrity of sorts. Yeah, it's been a little o- overwhelming, actually. Cool. I mean, there aren't reporters camped outside your house or anything like that. Uh, no, no, nothing like that yet. Well, but I'm, I'm coming out after the show, so that's, that's pretty... Is there uh, anything, you'll be the first one. <laughs> is there anything you kind of really want to... You know, I'll give you a, a few seconds to just sort of state your piece, to just say to Lippa what they can do um, to, to make you stop sending the kind of letters that you've been. Uh, they can reduce everybody's rates. I mean, you know, uh, we've paid for Shoreham I don't know how many times. We're getting hit with another 3% surcharge to pay back taxes to LIPA, I believe, for stuff that was overcharged, you know, during this whole Shoreham mess. Um, you know... Our government officials gave us permission to build that plant, and, you know, they charge us to build it, charge us to tear it down, charge us to close it, you know. I mean, we've been paying for this thing for 20 years and haven't benefited from it yet. Hmm. Well, um, so... You know, the other yeah, thing is the, the advertising that they do. It's not like we do have a choice, you know. It's basically lipo and nobody. Um, so to advertise is pretty fruitless, I would think, except the fact that it's wasting a lot of ratepayers' money. But do you really think, and I, I think I asked you this when we spoke on Friday, that even if they stop the advertising, that's going to make a dent? Uh, do I think it'll get kicked back to the ratepayers? Well, I'd like to think so, but I, I'd have to see it happen first. Um, oh, my engineer has a, a cool question. Do you think we were better off when we had Lilco instead of Lippa? Uh, it was uh, one evil against the next, you know? Right, kind of, kind of Bush versus Sodom, isn't it? Well, anyway, um, I want to thank you very, very much. I want to wish you best of luck. Uh, please keep in touch. Also, like on November twenty second, I'd love to know how how everything goes. And thank your mom for well, you know, next time you visit her, as it were, uh, for listening. And I hope you'll be listening too. But seriously, I do wish you best of luck with your quest. And if I, I wouldn't you. speak my mind, my mother would be turning over in a grave. So, well, that's cool. I think. Anyway, <laughs> thanks so much for calling in. Have a wonderful week. Thank you, you too. Okay. That was Kip Cohn, um, the angry Lippa guy, although he's obviously a lot smarter, and uh, you know, that's just the tag I, I tag him with, but I think, he, I think he knows what he's talking about.